the cutest baby, my little Endora. In fact, I think you're the most adorable baby in the whole wide world. Yes, I do. <laughs> Miss Lennox, I just got a call from the billing department and they need you to come down and sign some papers. Billing? Oh. I'm sorry to take you away from your baby. It, it should only take a few minutes. Oh, no. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> well, I'll be right back, my little cutie pie. Oh, this should be interesting. I don't have any insurance. Oh, I never thought I'd need any. <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever need any human medicine. Now, listen. You behave yourself when I'm gone. Because these mortals don't understand about us or our powers. They don't know that we are spawns of evil. It wasn't that long ago that I was burned at the stake in witch's time. So, yeah, listen. Don't you give these fearful mortals any reason to come after your dear old mum. strange for a woman her age to have a baby and to recover so quickly and this child I don't know she she makes me feel nervous my baby's gonna die she didn't say that Kay yes she did I mean we all heard her she said that Maria could die. Okay. You said that your baby is very ill. She's premature, her lungs aren't fully developed, and she's susceptible to infection. She's likely to be in critical condition for a long time to come, and I think that you need to prepare yourself for what could possibly happen. No. My baby is going to be fine. Tell her. Miguel, tell her that Maria is going to live and she's going to be a healthy, happy baby. Okay. Sometimes things don't work out, no matter how much we want them to. No. Maria is going to be fine. You're right, Charity. You did save their baby. She will live. But you have lost your relationship with Miguel. You will never be with him now. Baby's gonna be fine. Doctor, the baby's in distress. Ethan, why are you so protective of Teresa? Why are you so adamantly against her dating Fox? Because I know my half brother, okay? And he is just no good. Well, that's not the point. You're worried about Teresa. Why? Ethan, you say that you love me and our baby and that you're not going to leave us. But you act as though Teresa is the most important woman in the world. <laughs> Damn it, Ethan, I want to know the real truth. Am I more important to you than Teresa or not? Gwen, you're my wife. Ethan, stop avoiding the question, okay? <laughs> Stop lying to yourself, and please stop lying to me. You are in love with Teresa. Would you just admit it? If I lose this baby, you're gonna leave me for Teresa. Okay, now you just tell me the truth. You have feelings for Fox, don't you? What in the world are you talking about? 
I'm in love with Chad. Teresa, you know that. Yeah, but all you've been doing is talking about how wonderful Fox is. Right? I'm trying to tell you what a great guy he is, and that you should consider going out with him. I just think you two would make a great couple. Honey, you should have seen your face when you were talking about him. Your eyes, they lit up. You're positively infatuated with him, aren't you? All right, come on, Fox. If you're not in love with Teresa, then who? I mean, you say you're in love with somebody. Who is it? All right, look, Chad, I'll tell you when the timing's right, all right? Oh, no, no, no. The timing is right now, Fox. Look, I want to know if it's Teresa. Is Whitney right? I mean, is Teresa the mystery woman in your life? From that far away look in your eye, I'd have to say that was some fantasy you just had. Mm. Well, I'm hoping I can make it a reality. Well, I don't see why you can't. Especially if you love this woman as much as you say you do. Oh, yeah, I do. I've never ever felt like this about anyone before. I've never loved anyone this much. I think this is so wonderful. I am gonna cook you one heck of a fantastic dinner, okay? <laughs> you didn't even know I could cook, did you? You are amazing. Sheridan having the baby. If not, it's all over for me. Grace will find out that Sheridan isn't in Paris like he thinks, but in the pit in my basement where I put her. I'm gonna go to prison. Unless Louise kills me first. There has got to be information on how to deliver a baby on this damn internet! Bridget! Get the water boiling and rip up those towels! Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. I knew you didn't know how to deliver a baby. I know it. She's, she's not having the baby now anyway. Sheridan's faking, just like the last time. Oh, she is not faking. Her water broke, and she is going to have that baby any minute now. Somebody please help me. My baby, my baby's coming. Of the one who could sing so sweet, and I would fly on the wings of a bird. I knew could take me high as breathe in, breathe out. You keep me up alive. You are the fire burning inside of me. You are my passion for life. Please, don't do this, okay? You can't upset yourself. This is not good for you or that baby. Don't you think I know that? Y yes. So please, try to calm down. Uh, Ethan, I don't want to calm down. I'm not going to calm down. Why is Teresa always on your mind? She, Why are you always so worried about her? She's not always on my mind. I told you. She's just a friend. Okay. How could you be friends with someone who tried to destroy my life? Gwen, come on. She never did that. What? She didn't. Ethan, she schemed, plotted, and manipulated and lied to tear us apart when we were engaged and had been together for years. And you want to be friends with her. How could you even... Look, I, look I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, I just wish... I just wish you could... Forget about Teresa. I, I wish I could, too. And Ethan, I thought coming out here 3,000 miles away from Teresa would give us, you know, some kind of space, some time to finally be alone and try to bond as a family. But it doesn't matter, you know, if we're far away from her or not, because she is always here haunting us. Ethan, she is still here. She is with us right here. She may as well be here with us in Los Angeles. Don't you just love Los Angeles, you know? Never realized how beautiful it was here. Yeah, I really do love it. 
I'm so glad I decided to come out here with Chad. I mean, with Chad and Fox. Will you stop it? <laughs> <laughs> Look, Fox is a friend. A good friend. And nothing more. And if you saw my face light up, it's probably because I was so happy to think that you might finally get over Ethan if you started dating Fox. It's just not what it sounded like to me. Well, as usual, you're living in a fantasy world if you think I have any feelings for Fox at all. Nothing would make me happier than for you to move on with your life and start dating Fox. Look, Chad, I've always kind of been pretty private about my relationship, so this girl that I'm in love with, I, uh, I really don't want to talk about it. Okay, well, I guess I can understand that. Cool. Just tell me one thing. Is Whitney right? I mean, is Teresa the girl in your life? Or is it someone else? I think I'll do something. Don't let Maria die. Okay, Maria's gonna be all right. Evie's doing everything she can, sweetie. They're going to save the baby. I know they will. Please, God. No more die. Keep praying, Kay. Mom and Charity are praying, too. We all are. I just wish Mom and Charity would leave and just get out of here. Kay, don't say that. Why not? They've never been supportive of Miguel, me, or our baby. And it's Charity's fault that she was born so prematurely. That's not true. Oh, it isn't? I mean, she kept having that crazy premonition about a baby being in danger, and she got me so upset that I gave birth prematurely. You can't blame that on Charity. And Mom? Ever since she found out I was pregnant, she's been trying to get Miguel away from me. She still wants Miguel and Charity to be together, even though he and I have a child together. Kay, Mom loves you. And she loves your baby, too. But she knows how Miguel and Charity feel about each other. She knows they want to get married, and... J Jessica, I don't want to hear this, okay? All I want is for them to leave, both of them. So what do you feel like, huh? Fish, pasta, um, eggplant? I know pregnant women usually have crazy cravings, so, uh... <sighs> Oh, what's it gonna be, huh? Um, mayonnaise and pickle casserole, or um, turnip and okra pasta, huh? <laughs> Anything you want to make is fine with me, Luis. the instructions. You're wasting your time. I am telling you, Sheridan is faking. She just wants it to bring her up out of that pit so she can try and escape again. And I am telling you, from someone who knows, she is having that baby. And when it starts to come, there is nothing anybody can do to stop it. Her water didn't break. Look, she just poured some water on herself and on the ground so that you would think that it broke. <laughs> Did you hear that? That is not a fake scream. That is a woman who is about to have her baby, and we better damn well get ready to help deliver it. Help us, please. Somebody help us. Dear God, somebody help us. We're gonna die. <laughs> In all my years of pediatrics, I've never had a baby give me the creeps like that one. Oh, I should be ashamed of myself. I usually love all of God's little angels. This is going to be 
great. Huh? Some grilled vegetables, a couple steaks. How's that sound? I told you. I trust you. Anything's fine. All right. Hey, you know what? On the way home, we could pick up some DVDs. Oh, we'll just have a nice, relaxing dinner at home, huh? Some fresh foods, movies. Sound good? Um, you know, we could just go out to dinner. I hate that you're going to all this trouble, you know? We could, we could take a drive down the coast to that lobster house, and, and then we could just stay in one of those seaside hotels. Yeah, I just, I don't think that's such a good idea. And Beth, you're so close to your delivery date, I, I, sh I think we should be close to home. It's funny how you and Sharon, you, you might have the same due date, huh? I just, I think we should stay close to the hospital. Well, we don't have to go that far down the coast, just a little ways. Is, is there some reason you don't want me to cook for you tonight? Hmm? Some reason you don't want me to come over to the house? I have to hold on. I have to stay alive for my baby. Please, God, oh! Please give me the strength. Somebody help me! Oh. Well, just answer me one question, Fox. Is Teresa the mystery woman you're in love with, or is it someone else? Well, why is Whitney so convinced it's Teresa anyway? She just has it in her head. She thinks that you fell in love with Teresa as soon as you met her. But she was married to your old man at the time, you couldn't say anything. Then she found out that she wasn't legally married to Julian, so now there's nothing standing in your way. And don't tell me you're shy about speaking out, either. No, I know it, man. I've never really been shy. All right, well then, um, tell her how you feel. Look, I know she goes on and on about Ethan and how fate are gonna bring him back together. We both know that's a crock. I mean, Ethan and Gwen are married and they're having a baby. So there's no way she's gonna get back together with Ethan, period. I don't know, man. Teresa strikes me as the kind of girl who, who knows what she wants and then is gonna do anything to get it. That's Teresa. But she lives in a fantasy when it comes to Ethan. Look, I told Whitney that I didn't like her playing matchmaker. But I have to agree with her. I mean, you and Teresa would make a great couple. Yeah, Chad, look, man, I think Teresa's terrific, man. No doubt about it. Well, then, she's the one, right? What makes you think that Fox would even be interested in dating me? Because he talks about this woman that he is in love with, and he's obviously crazy about her. I mean, who else could it be? He hasn't exactly been playing the field since he came to Harmony. I mean, how many women have you seen him with? None that I can think of. Yeah, but that doesn't make me as Mr. Woman. Well, I think it's you. That he's never acted like I was anything more than a friend. Well, maybe he's shy. Fox? No. Mm -mm. Well, whatever. Why won't you even consider going out with him? I mean, who knows? You may fall madly in love with him if you actually spent some time alone together. And he's a crane. You always wanted to marry a crane, right? And he's definitely all crane. No, 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 no. I didn't want to marry a crane. I wanted to marry Ethan. And I still do. I mean, even after I found out that he wasn't a crane, that he's Sam Bennett's son, it, it doesn't matter to me. Okay, now you're making me mad. Ethan is unavailable. He's married to Gwen. They're having a child. Just drop it, okay? Whitney, Ethan and I are meant to be together, okay? Somehow, some way, we will be. So, you would want a guy that would dump his pregnant wife so that he could sleep with you? No. I expect Ethan to be a father to this baby. You know what? We both could help raise this baby together. Yeah, like Gwen would let you anywhere near her baby. And you can bet that Gwen is not going to give up Ethan without a fight. Honey, I'm not saying that Ethan and I are going to be together today, you know, or even tomorrow, but we will be. Okay, I understand that there are obstacles in our way, but we will overcome them. We are meant to be together. It's fate. Exactly. Right. Got it. Good. <laughs> oh, you know what? Uh -huh. That is probably the reason that you're having so many obstacles. 
That's exactly why everything is going so wrong for you. What do you mean? Maybe fate wants you to be with someone else, like Fox. <clears throat> the two of you could be great together, Teresa. If you can forget about Ethan. Teresa is nowhere near Los Angeles, and she is still a part of our lives. You know, I just, I only dared to suggest that Fox and Teresa might be a good couple, and you fly off into a tailspin, and you're so worried about her that she's gonna date your rotten half-brother. What, Ethan, what the hell difference does it make to you? Run, please, don't do this, all right? It is not good for the baby for you. No, you to see. Stop saying that, okay? You stop saying that as if I don't know how this is affecting me. You are not telling me something, Ethan. You are keeping something from me. What is it? I mean, is it about Teresa? Ethan, were you gonna ask to marry you? You, I was, I was gonna ask you to marry me. You're right. You're right, I need to tell you something. And I need to be completely honest with you about Teresa. Let's increase that oxygen. God, let this baby survive. Such an innocent little soul. Please, Lord, be merciful and let her live. She has to live, Mama. Don't worry, Aunt Grace. The baby's going to live. You seem so sure, Charity. How do you know? I just know that God wouldn't let anything happen to the little child. I agree. God can't take away our grandchild. We have to pray, Simone. Really hard. I know I'm praying. She has to live. She has to. Hey. Just let Dr. Russell work, okay? What happened? Is she all right? Tell us our little girl's gonna be all right. She's stabilized. Thank, thank God. My daughter, I thank God of her baby. Well, she's out of the woods for now. But she's going to have to be monitored very carefully for some time. And this is what I was trying to warn you about, Kay. You're going to have to face the fact that your baby is seriously ill and will be for a very long time to come. Well, like for, for, for months? I mean, we can't take her home or. How long is she going to have to be here, Dr. Russell? Well, it depends on how well she does in the hospital, but yes, it could be months. She's going to have to gain a lot of weight and be a lot healthier before she's going to be allowed to leave. I can't stand this. God, I can't stand this. It's our baby, Miguel. to be my little girl acting up. <laughs> Chip off the old block, that's for sure. But I must warn her not to expose us. She mustn't cause trouble. <laughs> Beth, why am I getting the feeling that you don't want me to come over and cook for you tonight? Because I just, I don't want to be a burden. A bur Beth, you are not a burden. Beth. You're not. I know that you wish that you were cooking for Sheridan instead of me. 
And I know that you wish that you were in Paris to help Sheridan have her baby instead of being stuck here with me. Beth, I'm sorry that you feel that way, okay? I really am, but I do care about you and our baby. Like, please, come on, just... Will you let me make it up to you? Will you, will you let me cook you dinner tonight? Please? I just, I don't want to impose. You're not imposing. All right, you know, wait here. All right, you wait here. I got a surprise for you, okay? Hello? Mother, it's me. So what's happening? Does that answer your question? Where are you? Is Sheridan in the living room? No, she's down in the pit with the face of the door is open. What's wrong with her? She's in labor, if you please. She's having contractions. She's in terrible pain. She's probably gonna die, and then we're gonna go to prison. So it's a disaster, Bethy. A complete disaster. Sheridan and her baby. Goodbye. Whitney's right, isn't she? Teresa's your mystery girl. Look, oh, Chad, man, can we talk about something else? No, not until we settle this. Now, you are always hanging out with Whitney and me, right? So Whitney figured out why that is. Teresa's always there. You see, when you're hanging out with us, you're hanging out with Teresa. So I like Ollie. Is that a crime? No, but I could tell by the look on your face that I hit a nerve. All right, let's drop it. I will if you tell me. Is it Teresa? Chad, you're starting to bug me. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Well, if, if it's not Teresa, and um, I do the math and think about all the other girls that we've been hanging around, well, it, it can only be Whitney. <laughs> you're not in love with Whitney, though, are you? Come on, Fox. I mean, we all hang out together. You, me, Teresa, Whitney. It's got to be Whitney. Is it Whitney? I mean, are you in love with Whitney? Look, I know that you're only trying to help because you think that Ethan is never gonna leave Gwen for me. No, I don't. I think he has too much integrity, even if he does still love you. You know what? He admitted it, okay? He does still love me. And does that mean more than anything? You know, more than some phony commitment that he made to Gwen? Phony, he married her in a church, honey. They took vows. Yeah, but he was gonna propose to me, okay? And then he found out she was pregnant, so he was forced to marry her. But he did marry her. I don't care. You know, if Ethan was really committed to Gwen, why would he be lying to her about me being out here in Los Angeles? No, he still loves me, Whitney. And as long as he does, we still have a chance to be together. <sighs> did you just say what? I think you just said that, that you're going to be honest with me and tell me the truth about Teresa? When? Look, I, I, I don't want to hurt you. I, I can't believe this. I can't believe that my husband, the father of my baby, is, is has such feelings for another no. woman, such strong when? feelings, such strong feelings for another woman that he has to be honest with his wife about her. Look, I just, I just think we, we need to talk about this because it's, it's upsetting you. Yeah, and I... yeah. Huh. Yeah, you're damn right I'm upset, Ethan. I mean, no, you know, I don't want to talk about another woman with my husband. Period. You know, damn it, Ethan, when are you just going to forget about her and just... Get Teresa out of your mind! Oh, God! Mm. Gwen, what? What is it? Mother, calm down. Okay, now why are Sheridan and her baby going to die? Isn't Charlie there? Oh, yeah, Charlie's here, all right. <laughs> well, then she can deliver the baby. Everything will be all right. Let me tell you something about Charlie. She couldn't deliver a pizza. Give me that damn phone. Oh, Beth? Beth? Don't worry. Everything's under control. You just keep Louise away from this house as long as possible, all right? Are you crazy? 
Everything is not under control. Sheridan is about to have her baby, and we don't know what to do. She is not having her baby. Now have Precious go make some more of that tea or whatever that concoction was that stopped the contractions before. No, 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 no. See, that only worked because she wasn't ready to deliver. But her water broke. How many times do I have to tell you that? So that baby is coming, and there is no tea in the world that is going to stop those contractions, and you, you do not know how to deliver a baby! So now, guess what? Sheridan and her baby are probably gonna die. Go on, old woman! Get out of here! Uh, Go make the tea! All right! All right, all right! But I'm telling you right now, it's a waste! It's an absolute waste! Shut up! Just shut up! care but I know that my insurance isn't gonna cover all this you know and you said that she's gonna have to be here for months do you have any idea how much money we're talking about I can't give you a figure Miguel but she's gonna need special care around the clock well just for now while she's in the hospital right until she is fully matured and over this hump remember she should still be in the womb developing she's gonna need special care here and at home I don't know how I'm going to pay for this, Dr. Russell. Look, Miguel, we talked about this before, and I really don't want you to worry, because Sam and I are going to help. And your family will help, too, mijo. <laughs> Maria will get the best care, no matter what we have to do, sweetie. Yes, we'll all help. Simone and I are making money now being Mark representatives. For every $100 worth of beauty products we sell, we get to keep $40. So we can contribute. Absolutely, we're doing well. And we get to set our own hours, so we'll be there to help out a lot. Yeah, and as far as the nursing care goes, as soon as the baby's home, I can take care of her. So can I. Yeah, you know, we'll, we'll all be there to take care of her. Maria will be fine. No. I don't want you or Charity taking care of my child. I will not allow it. What is it? What is wrong? Somebody get in here, please! What is it? What can I do? Honey, please. Somebody, please! What's wrong? I, I don't know. She just grabbed her stomach. She started screaming in pain. Is she gonna be okay? Is the baby gonna be alright? I'm gonna pay Dr. Abel. So you won't even consider dating Fox? Yeah, Fox is adorable. Adorable, yes. Mm. And handsome. Mm -hmm. And not to mention rich, fun to be with, intelligent. <laughs> so the negatives are... Well, there are no negatives. Maybe if I wasn't still so much in love with Ethan, maybe Fox and I might be able to have a relationship. I just don't see anything happening between us. Well, will you at least just think about it? I'm only saying this because I love you. <laughs> and... I mean, I know you're still clinging on to this desperate hope that Ethan is going to leave Gwen, but the rest of the world and all of us know that it's not going to happen. He told you that the relationship is over. He said that, yes, he still does love you, but he also said that it doesn't matter, and he's not going to leave Gwen and his baby. So, just think about it. Think about you and Fox and how good the two of you could be together. All right, 
You got me. You got me. It's Teresa. She's the one I'm in love with. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it couldn't be Whitney. I mean, you're my boy. You know that Whitney and I are in love. Yeah, come on, man. I know that. Okay, what I don't know is why are you dragging your feet with Teresa? Huh? Why doesn't she know how you feel? Is it because of Ethan? Well, come on, man. I mean, we all know how she feels about him. Yeah, but that's totally unrealistic. I mean, Ethan's history. Whitney's over there right now telling Teresa what a great guy you are and how she ought to give you a try. Really? She is? Yeah. Uh, Whitney thinks you're hot. She thinks you're a great guy. And tell you the truth, man, if I was a jealous type, I'd be pretty upset that my girl was so high on another guy. Whitney thinks I'm great? Well, that's wonderful. It's amazing. Well, why does it matter to you so much what Whitney thinks about you? so afraid, but Charlie was so calm. Which one of them was right? Is the situation with Sheridan really under control? Maybe I should just go home. I need to be there when Sheridan has her baby. Beth, I heard what you said. But what do you know about Sheridan having her baby? Here is the damn tea for all the good it'll do. Yeah, just give me the tea. Ah! It's not gonna stop that baby from coming. It's too late. Oh, I still don't believe Sheridan's water broke. She just, uh, she just poured water on the ground. Well, you better hope that you are right. Because if her water did break, that baby is coming any minute now. And it certainly will die without the proper medical care. And then, then, Miss Horace, we are gonna be planning Sheridan's funeral. Question, man. Who are you in love with? Huh, is it Teresa? Or maybe it's Whitney? That baby's coming and that baby's coming right now! Fox, no way. No way. I won't allow Fox to get involved with Teresa. 